Moment of Geek Pop Quiz. Who among us knows what a supernova is? I don't actually think that I could explain it all that well. I know it has something to do with very large things, very far away, blowing up. Uh, but we're about to bring on a guest who not only knows what a supernova is, but recently discovered one 70 million light years away from Earth. She's part of a network of amateur astronomers who spend their spare time poring over images of distant galaxies looking for super, supernovae. I do happen to know the plural of supernova. It is, in fact, supernovae. At least that's what it looks like. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, and that is the extent of my expertise. When our next guest discovered her supernova, a particularly rare one, now known as 2008-HA, she became one of many amateur astronomers to make such a discovery. But she is the only one among them who is not old enough to legally drive a car in the United States. Joining us now is Caroline Moore. She's an amateur astronomer. She is 14 years old. She is the youngest person to ever discover a supernova. Caroline, congratulations, and thanks so much for coming on the show. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, what, what is a supernova? Oh, okay. A supernova is a dying star that it kind of just starts to burn off all of its gases and it collapses in on itself and it explodes very violently. <laughs> and are, are they hard to discover? One might expect that a big violent explosion would be an easy thing to see in the big black universe. Well, they're not very rare. They happen about one every second in the universe, but the universe is pretty big, so. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> Well, how did, you, how did you find the one that you found? Um, well, I belong to the uh, Pocket Supernova search team, and we look for them. So, like, half of our search team, um, they take the pictures with their really, really ginormous big telescopes, which are in their backyard. And um, then they send me the pictures, and I look for the supernovas in them. So. And the, the telescope that you have there, A, it's very cool that it's pink, and B, I'm <laughs> guessing that is not, that's not the telescope that you use to, that's, that's not the kind of telescope that you find these things with, right? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's the same kind, but it's definitely a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and not pink. I understand, although you never know. Um, how, how is the supernova that you discovered different from the other ones that had been discovered before? I understand this is a really unique type of thing that you found. Well, uh, yeah, back in, I would say, uh, December, we found out that it was the least luminous supernova ever to be observed, which was pretty interesting. And then we found out that there's this crazy scientific reason behind why it's so dim. And there's different scientific papers arguing uh, why it's so strange. Some are saying that it's a cross between a supernova and a nova. Nova is like, is is much dimmer than an actual supernova. So they're saying it might be a cross between that, which would be something that's really never been seen before. So, so you, might have been, you might have found something that's gonna be a whole new category of space thing? Yeah, that's what they're saying. That's what the scientists are saying. So let's see, are, I, I hope so. <laughs> are you gonna make them name it a Caroline? I wish. No, they're probably going to give it some little silly number name, like they need my supernova, but whatever. I just got to ask you, what's, what's your life like now that you're sort of an astronomy rock star? Has this changed your life at all? Um, well, kids at school, there's a combination between, like, maybe a little bit of jealousy, and then there's, you know, my friends all tease me, like, oh, what's going to be next, really? When This was in November. When is it ever going to end? So, But it's a lot of fun, definitely. Yeah. Do, you think, do you think you're going to end up being a scientist? Um, well, I definitely love science. I love medicine. I also sing. I'm classically singing. So, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not sure at this point. I'm 14. I have some ideas, but I'm not, I'm not definitely sure yet. <laughs> well, Caroline Moore, um, I think that you're very cool. And I think that you're very cool, particularly in comparison to how lame I was when I was 14. So uh, congratulations on being the, um, the youngest supernova discoverer ever. And, and good luck to you. It's been great to meet you. Oh, thank you. Nice meeting you, too. <laughs> All right, coming up on Countdown, the full and funny speech that President Obama gave to the Radio and Television Correspondents Association.